Welcome back to the 58th part in this Python series on the Django Web Framework. In this one we're going to carry on building the friends list. Or in fact, we've done most of the logic now for the whole friends list. We just need to use that logic to be able to show our friends within the home template. So that's what we're going to do in this video, just pass that information through and fix anything if it's sort of broken. So let's go ahead and firstly go to the home template and this is sort of the the template that renders this home page and I think in this case as I said in I think one of the previous videos we're going to just for now stick the friends list sort of in this corner around here uh, that's just because I don't particularly fancy making a separate uh, template and a separate link on the on on the base template and all these sorts of things uh, we could do that it would be fairly straightforward but in the interest of not covering things twice that I've already shown you how to do I'll just sort of add it here so that we can see the friends next to the list of all the accounts and uh, for now we're not going to limit it we're just going to show all the accounts because we don't have that many but in a real world situation you would want to limit it to say five or ten or uh, maybe a dynamic amount based on some other factor but for now let's just go ahead and add that friends list to the template so I'm going to do uh, something similar to what I did with the other people listing all the users but what I'm going to do is uh, just do the same for the friends so let's just say friends and it's going to do a similar thing here but we need to make sure that we're passing the correct information through to the template so back in the views we can see the home view powers this page you can see the template name is home for slash home.html which corresponds to the templates directory home folder home html and of course we're going to do a get request uh, so whenever we make a friend so whenever we call the url that makes the friend uh, changes a friend well it's not necessarily a new friend we can get rid of that um, but whenever we call this uh, URL, so whenever we call the URL we defined in the last video, so maybe it's connect, add uh, a particular friend with the primary key, and then it's going to call that view. But when that view is called, it's going to be redirecting us to the home page, and, and by default this redirect is going to be a get request. So it's going to go to this part of the home view. Now this is where we pass through all the information that we want to render on the home page, including users and now we're going to do friends as well. Friends, apparently, if I can spell. So now what this is going to be is, well, we want all the friends for the current user. What's the current user? So it's request.user. We already have imported home and the friend model, so we don't need to import them again. But what I want to do is, I don't think we have the current user. So we need to say friends is equal to friend.objects sorry, friend, not plural, friend.objects.get. Now this is going to get the corresponding friend instance that corresponds with the current user, which is in this case request.user. So I'm going to say current user, because current user, that corresponds to the field on the model. So if we look at the models, we're referring to current user here, and we're going to use late, uh, users a bit later on. But going back to the views, I'm going to say current user is equal to request.user because request.user contains what is essentially the logged in user if we're using session based authentication here so now that we've done that that should give us the friend instance if the user has one now a get a create could be a good barrier here to be able to uh, guard against okay what if user doesn't have, any, have an instance of the friend model yet uh, but for this example I'm just going to use an account that does have an instance so just make sure that you're aware of that if you're sort of assuming they're going to have an instance if you want to assume they have an instance use get or create so that you're guaranteed to get returned an object there but in this case I'm going to test with a user which I know to have an instance in the last video I created a an instance of friend by calling the URL for the user I'm currently logged in as so in this case it's uh, max. Now that already has a friend object if you're not sure you can import the models in the Django shell and do these commands like uh, user.objects.all or friendobjects.all to see uh, the contents of the models but now we've got that friend instance and we're assuming there is one already created here I'm going to say 
Well, what do I need? I need the list of users that are friends with this user. So let's go ahead and play around in the Django shell just to see what works. So Django admin shell and what I'm going to do is I need to in this case in, import everything. So from home.models import friend and to find the correct user we need to import that as well. So from django.contrib dot auth dot models import user uh, user is equal to user dot objects dot uh, all uh, let's have a look at users so user uh, let's just select this first one here so user is equal to user zero so this isn't necessarily the best way of doing it but I just uh, do what works for me and then I can sort of show you different approaches because I know we've done sort of uh, use the objects dot first or use the objects dot filter before in other videos so this is just an, an alternate sort of way of doing that so now that we have a user instance uh, we have max in this case which is the user I'm currently logged in as which is good for testing the sort of code I'm writing here I'm going to find the friend object that corresponds to that so friends dot friend.objects.get uh, current user is equal to user so is equal to that instance I'm going to also uh, put that in a variable called friend and when we do friend you can see we have that instance now to get the users that are friends with the current user we have to use the many to many relationship if we look at the model here it says users many to many field so the way that we do that is not through the objects uh, model manager instead we use the users so we essentially use this many to many relationship by doing friend dot users dot all so that's going to show us all the friends now here we can still do all the filtering and all the other things that we do uh, with objects but we could do dot all dot filter dot first dot last whatever we want because it's still essentially using a lot of the same functionality there now you can see at the moment max the user instance has two friends so they are the two things that we should be seeing in the template because this is the user that I'm logged in as make sure you, that is the same user because if it's not then you may get different results and wonder why um, just log in as the same user so now if we go back to uh, what we haven't finished yet, so back to the views and we should have this friends object but n we need that list so we just need the query set here so all I'm going to do is friend.users.all so let's redesign, redefine this, let's call this friend singular because by convention I try to stick to uh, the variable name being a lowercase version of the model itself uh, doesn't always work like that um, but that's sort of what I try to stick to um, but now I'm just going to do friends so all the friends, this is his entire friends list is equal to friend.users.all and that should give us a list of his friends now what, what I can do is pass that through to the view uh, let's just space this out slightly and say friends and that's going to be equal to friends there we go and now that I have that I can use friends in the template and let's just use this existing logic so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it so change this from user to friend users to friends and there we go so this link will probably be uh, correct so that should still work and it's still going to display the username so we're going to get the exact same uh, visual representation of the user instance as we have for the other people but it should not in this case be test2 so this test2 account I should not be friends with so if I re uh, run the development server by quitting out of the shell I'll do Django admin run server and if that passes means we haven't got any typos and if we refresh we see max max so I found the error that caused this and what it was was in the template uh, 
we change for user and users to for friend and friends. And if we do user.username, it's still picking up whatever we pass into the template as user, not whatever we pass into the template as, or in, in, into the for loop rather, as friend. So we have to do friend.username. So that's going to actually utilize the objects being iterated through within this loop. Otherwise, we're still not using the friends. So now that we've done that, we should be able to see just the friends that we've connected with. And of course, we can add or remove them by going to that URL. In the next video, we're going to add a button to each of the uh, friend user instances, or possibly to the actual user instances themselves, to be able to call that URL and add or remove a friend.